Last time we verified an email address for a new user logging in or signing up for the first time and giving it basically that gave them permission to actually get into the app. Now I want to make users or give users the ability to sign out. So we're going to go into a profile package here and go into sign out fragment and we're going to write some code to uh, sign out a user. So let's uh, first get our Firebase stuff going because we're going to need that. We're going to need our Firebase auth. And, oops, I'm off. I really should have just copied this from another uh, activity, but I'm already halfway there. M auth, let's call it M auth listener. That's what I'm used to. And we're going to have a progress bar and progress bar and a text view and text view sign out. I can't even remember if I made this layout. Let's check it out. So it'll be fragment sign out. And I have made it, but there's nothing in it. So this is gonna be pretty simple. All I want to do is add a button right in the middle of the screen just to say, are you sure you wanna sign out? And then the user will click it and they'll sign out. So let's change this to a relative layout. We'll get rid of this orientation. And what else? Let's uh, we'll get another relative layout and do uh, wrap content and wrap content. And inside of this one, we're gonna first of all put a margin of 80 dp, and let's do center horizontally and true. And inside of here, we have a text view first of all, just wrap content, wrap content, text size of 20 sp, and text color black. Uh, ID, text view, confirm, sign out, and maybe do some text. Are you sure you want to sign out? Uh, that should be good actually. And then we want a button below that to actually confirm the sign out. So width, whoops, no, I'm gonna actually set the width here to 200 dp, dp. and for the height, do wrap content. The text will be sign out, center horizontal, true, uh, text size 20 SP, ID, button, confirm, sign out, yeah, sign out, and we want to put that thing below, oops, below the text view, confirm, sign out, and that looks super ugly, but don't worry, we are going to fix that, I don't think I made a drawable file for it yet though, uh, white rounded button, yes I did. Background, white rounded button. Nice. Uh, maybe a little margin on the top, just maybe 20 dp. And what else do we need? I think that might actually, might actually be good. And then we of course just need the progress bar. So let's do a, what size? We'll do a pretty big one, since this is the only thing that's gonna be on the screen and do center and parent like we always do. And we can do some text for the, the progress bar. So text view, wrap content, wrap content. Oops. And do text signing out dot dot dot. Text size 20 SP. Uh, align bottom to the progress bar. So I need an ID for that. I'm just gonna call it progress bar. Oops. ID, progress bar, and we can copy that line and do align right and align left. There we go. And I can change the text color to make it stand out more. I think that's probably good. It's kind of, yeah, I mean, sure, why not? That's fine. And did I give the button an ID? Yes, I did. Okay, so now let's go back to sign out activity. Um, let's declare everything down here. So text view sign out equals text view view find view ID r dot ID dot um, text view confirm sign out and progress. Whoops. Okay, progress bar. Progress bar. And then the button, so button, button, uh, confirm, button, confirm, wish I could type today, button, uh, ID, 
button confirm sign out. Okay, button confirm sign out, set on click listener, new on click listener. Um, attempting, attempting to sign out. And we can do m off dot sign out. Um, well, actually, what we want to do is do the first here, we want to actually set the progress bar to invisible. Oh, we also need that text view. What did I call that? This was, uh, I didn't give it an ID. Text view signing out, I guess. So we need to, we need that in our sign out fragment. Text view signing out. Text view signing out. Text view, oops, view. Find your ID, our ID dot, actually signing up. Okay, so after that, we need to do progress bar, set visibility, view dot gone, and text, text view signing out, set visibility, view dot gone. And then when we actually do click the sign out button, we're trying to sign out, so we'll make these things visible. And then we attempt to sign out. And after signing out, we can go get activity, finish, whoops finish because we don't need to be um, inside anything anymore really so that will that's going to end whatever activity we were in which in this case is going to be the profile activity and I forgot to get the Firebase authentication stuff so let's go into home activity and just grab all this so so set up we can grab this whole thing everything below the Firebase uh, break up there and we don't need all of it we don't need this right here check current user don't need that don't need that so yeah so in home activity we'll actually check the current user so what we should do is actually put this in login or in um, in profile activity Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll actually go into sign out fragment, and so when we sign out, the activity will finish. But before the activity finishes, um, well, let's put this in on create, actually, to set up set up Firebase off. So in here, before the activity finishes, it's going to sign out, and the Firebase li the listener here is going to catch that. It's going to change. It's going to catch that the auth state has changed. So inside here, we could navigate to login activity um, while it's uh, when before it's before it actually goes back to whatever the previous activity was. So I can type a log here and go navigating back to login screen, and we can do intent intent equals new intent get activity and do login activity dot class and then start activity intent. And um, so what that'll do is it'll take us back to the login screen. And as I just went over in home activity here, we have this method called get current user. And if the current user is null, it automatically will keep navigating us back to login activity. So base and we have it in the on start method here too. So anytime we're navigating to home activity and the user isn't authenticated, it's automatically going to take us back to the login activity. So that's what that's essentially what we're going to do here. We we're logging out. And so therefore this intent will start. It's going to take us to login activity. If the user still tr can, if the user presses the back button and somehow gets into the app, the login activity method here, check current user will catch that. And it's just going to keep redirecting them back to the login screen. So we can test it. We'll run the app now. And I'll, I'll just try to basically get into the app when the user isn't authenticated. Okay, so we're in the app. Let's go to the profile and we'll go to up here. Let's click sign out. Are you sure you want to sign out? Yes. Signing out, it takes us back to the login screen. Okay, so now the only thing we're worried about is being able to press, because if I try and log in again, that's fine. But if we press the back button, what happens? Okay, see, that's a problem. So we're signed out, but it still took us back to inside the app. Because right now I actually have access to the app again. And if I navigate to the home, uh, the home activity here, it will actually sign me out. Here, I'll go there, and it'll it's gonna see it catches it, but um, see now it's now it's in that loop that you can't get out of. But that was still a problem, right? Because we 
actually were able to get into the app. So what we basically want to do is clear the activity stack after we sign out. That way when we press the back button, it's going to do nothing. So let's go to uh, sign out activity here. And before we start this intent, we can go intent.set flags and we can do intent flag activity uh, should be new task and concatenate that with intent nope what was that intent dot flag activity clear task and that should do it so let's uh, let's run that and let's see if that solves our problem okay so let's sign in with com. doesn't matter either one of the users is fine that email's not verified never mind so I gotta sign in with uh, Mitch at kvn.ca should be same password because that email is verified so there we go we're in now let's go to profile activity and we can go and try and sign out just like we did last time and that takes us to this screen now let's press the back button and it closes the app okay so that means that the because we cleared the activity stack when I press the back button it just closed the app and that's that's totally fine too because now when they uh, hmm two of the same name I'm not sure which one was which I think it's that one no nope, not that one maybe I think these are both named the same I'm not sure which is which one was that previous one that somebody got into mine with uh, I guess I can just try logging in and if it works then I guess we'll know so um, yeah but you can see anyway that uh, it didn't let me log in it wasn't yeah so this is the one and uh, it's not letting me get back into the app after signing out so let's try again just to double check hit the back button and there we go we can't get into the app so that's gonna be it for this video now we kind of have all of the necessary authentication and registering stuff ready to go I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get started with the image sharing stuff so basically when you go to the the middle section on Instagram there we go. let's just sign in here really quick and it gives you the ability to upload photos or share photos so this section right here uh, I'll probably work on this next so when we come here it's gonna be able to read all the images from your phone's memory you're gonna be able to select different locations from your phone's memory and you can either and you can upload new photos basically so you can share new photos I can't remember if I did, if I enabled the uh, changing photo functionality. Well, that's not set up yet either. Uh, so edit profile, did I do this yet? No, we haven't done that yet either. Okay. So then, yeah, so what I'll, what I'll do next is go to this page and we're gonna be able to upload photos. And then after that, I'll work on the edit profile screen and give us the ability to actually upload or change a new profile photo. Actually, scratch everything I just said. Uh, I just realized that I haven't actually taken the information from Firebase yet and populated the profile. So, like, this is just text that I hard coded in with the layout. So, that's what we'll work on next. I want to be able to read the Firebase database and get the information that you see here and get it to display in their profile. So, that's what we're going to work on the next one. I'll see you in that next video.